the information you need to know about your columnist assignment for semester one of your junior year. What is the purpose? Well, the purpose of this columnist assignment is to improve your writing style. I want you to imagine if I were your basketball coach. If I were your basketball coach, I would tell you to pick one NBA player, study that player, his or her moves, uh, everything that they do, their practice, their schedule, their game, their habits, study this player for one entire semester so that you can improve your game. Likewise, you are studying one person that you're going to choose. You're going to study his or her writing style in order to improve your writing. So as you read the articles from this person, it's not just about the content. You're doing more than that. You are an apprentice. You are studying this writer's craft. So it has to be an editorialist, an op-ed writer, someone who writes opinion pieces, not just your front page news journalist. This person has to specifically be an opinionated writer, which is why we call them a columnist. So a columnist is a writer who focuses on opinion pieces. They're not just reporting the news, they are reporting their opinion on what's going on in the world. Be sure this person has an active column, plenty of articles. It may be up to five years old. You can check the archives. Be sure you have access to their writing. Some of the websites provided require a fee to pay for the service. Choose another website if you are unable to do that. You don't have to pay to be able to find your columnist, but your person must have plenty of articles and you must have access to their writing. Follow your columnist. Go follow your columnist now while you're listening to this video. Follow your columnist on Twitter. Follow your columnist on Instagram. You want to make sure you are noticing everything they do. How do they write? How do they begin the article? How do they end the article? What are their transitions? How is their content? What is their use of punctuation? Do they use dashes and semicolons and colons? How are they writing? What is their word choice? Do they make you laugh? What is it they said to make you laugh? How did they write that sentence to make you respond in a certain way? Do you struggle with introductions? Do you struggle with conclusions? Look at your writer. How does your writer do it? Imitate your writer. For this assignment, your to-do list will always involve the following. You will have a gist statement over your articles. You will read and note and notice the articles. You will annotate the articles. You will complete a soapstone. There will be a pray see. You will write a reader response draft, then a revised draft. This entire semester, this is what you'll be doing with the articles from your columnist. Why? So that you can improve your essay style. I should begin to see, as your English teacher, I should begin to see your writer's influence on your essays and in your reader responses. I want to see your syntax. Syntax is sentences. The style of your sentences should improve. The diction, that's your word choice. Your word choice should improve. Punctuation, I should begin to see some fancy, flashy punctuation. That dash, the dash is fancy. Not a lot of juniors are using the dash. I want to see the dash imagery. How are you appealing to the senses? What about tone? Are you taking a sharp stance on an opinion? And is it clear by the words you choose? And what about your ideas? Are they fresh? Are they original? Have you written this in a way like no other? I'm so excited for you this year as you choose your columnist to find this columnist, study, become a mentor, a mentee, and an apprentice under this awesome writer. I'm so excited for the improvement on your writing. All right, let's go.